a head-to-head comparison between my Bosch rotary mower and my Allet cylinder mower. I'm going to be comparing all the key features between these two different types of lawn mower so you can get a better understanding about what to look out for when you're making a purchase and an in-depth breakdown of all the features around both types of mower. It's Garden Lawn Care Guy here and my YouTube channel is all about free DIY lawn care tips to get great results at home. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and turning the notifications on for regular lawn care tips. All the products I use can be found in the description below. With so much choice in the different types of lawn mowers, I thought I'd make this video to simplify some of the key features between the different types of lawn mower. First up, I want to talk to you about transport. This Alec Classic 17 sits on the rear roller and a front roller and that gives it great stripes but it also causes a bit of an issue for transportation along paths like mine. In my case, these little gravel stones can get onto the path and sometimes get caught under the machine. The machine itself rolls really nicely across grass and it's just something to be aware of. You want to have a nice clear route when you're moving it from A to B. You can see here, for example, for the Bosch, it's really, really lightweight. This is an electric machine, so it is a lot lighter than its uh, counterpart petrol machine. But as it's sitting on these four wheels, I can just move it through the path and the stones really don't come into effect. When you're thinking about lightweight and manoeuvrability, this electric Bosch can be a great choice. But it is stripped back and it doesn't have some of the more advanced features like the self-propelled mechanism the Allet does, which makes the Allet really enjoyable to cut the lawn with, as well as the additional weight in the Allet can help with stripes, getting a more profound and defined stripe that lasts for longer. I'm going to be covering that later in the video. Side by side, you can see some visual differences in these mows as well. On the left you've got the Allet which is much more sturdy and robust made out of metal, a more traditional uh, appeal to it and on the right the Bosch is more lightweight and modern and it's made mainly out of plastic materials. The next feature I'd like to point out is the height of cut adjustment between the two different mowers. On the Bosch the height of cut is controlled by this little lever on the side where you can raise or lower the height of the mower. It's very simple to use and the settings range from 30 millimeters to 70 millimeters. You can see here by lifting the lever, the chasse deck raises up and all wheels adjust simultaneously. When we look at the Allet, the adjustment is done on the side through this little dial and it's got a number of different settings. There are different types of Allet that can go onto a more uh, infinite adjustment or variable adjustment, but this particular one I've got has got five heights of cut, and it's much better for cutting at a lower length of lawn, with the highest setting being 32mm, 25 right the way down into the single digits. The next thing I'm going to look at is in terms of operating power. The Bosch is operated by a lithium-ion battery. These actually charge really well. They're quite lightweight and you can just slot them in or out. One of the downsides to the battery type of models is the batteries themselves do tend to be a little bit more expensive, but the overall running cost should be lower because you don't really need any fuel just to charge every couple of mows. You can also get the Allet in a battery version, which is called the Liberty. But for me, particularly on my classic, it's powered by petrol. You fill it up at the cap at the top, there's a small uh, ignition switch and a pull cord and then you're ready to go. This is a really powerful machine and it should have no problem cutting through most different types of grass. One thing I will say, linked off the height of cut discussion we've just had, you generally need to be keeping your lawn at a lower height for this type of mower to cut through and give you a good quality cut. If you're one of those people who cuts very intermittently and leaves your grass to grow longer, you might struggle to get as good a result with the Allet 
because with the alec you want to be cutting on a more regular basis just to maintain that excellent high quality lawn finish and cutting at a shorter setting the next type of thing that i'd like to look at is the cutting mechanism you can see here on the rotary it's exactly that a rotary blade like a helicopter it's got two sharpened faces on it that sort of hit the grass and chop the tops off the grass as it spins it does actually lay the grass blade down which even though it's got a back roller can cause some issues with your stripes and what you tend to see is like a light side of stripe and a dark side of the stripe and that's purely due to that rotating mechanism of cut if you're keeping your grass on the longer side the Bosch stripes just fine but as you're dropping it to the lower height you get a less pronounced stripe than you would do compared to this alit. Moving on to the classic, this type of cut is done on a reel and the reel hits a bed knife at the bottom of the mower and it almost creates like a scissor type of action. This is going to give you a much finer type of cut and it's going to give you an even cut as well. Coming up, I'm going to be talking about whether you need a flat lawn to get one of these mowers and there's a few other tips and tricks to come. So stay tuned till the end of the video to find out more. The fifth thing I want to talk about is the weight of the two machines. You can see on the Bosch, the machine weighs around 13 kilograms, which means you can easily pick it up and move it around. Very lightweight. There's pros and cons of that in terms of pros moving it around is very easy, but also you won't get that really nice rolled stripe that you'll get for example, this Alit is 41 kilograms and it's sitting right across this self-propelled rear roller at the back which is going to give you some great stripes even at a lower height of cut as opposed to the alec which sits both on its front and rear roller with no wheels the bosch does sit on the four wheels it's got a built-in roller at the back which is this uh, plastic roller which does well at the higher heights of cut but as you start dropping it down to get that more neat nice finish you're going to lose some definition of stripe. The next cool feature I want to talk to you about on the Alit, which is about, I'd say, versatility. This Alit system comes with a cartridge based system, and you can see here I've got two cutting blade cartridges which can be removed from the machine. There's a whole host of different cartridges across the Alit range, including a scarifier, a verticutter, a lawn brush, and many others. So, in terms of overall functionality, you can have many different types of machines all built into your Alit, which is a great nice feature as opposed to having many different actual physical assets like a different scarifier and lawnmower, etc. You've kind of almost got an all-in-one system. Something that might surprise you is the actual size of the Alit. You can see there I've just flipped up the front lid on the grass box and the grass box just sits on top. It actually holds a smaller profile than the Bosch does and it's really nice and easy to store. The Bosch has got the grass box sitting at the back of the machine. It can be removed. It doesn't really have a natural uh, storage place on the machine. You could probably lie on top of it. But overall in terms of storage, I find the Alit really nice and compact. Considering how heavy the machine is, it's really easy to store. One of the questions I get asked most is, do I need a flat lawn? Well, you can see here, I can fit my fingers underneath this straight board of the lawn, and I don't have a perfectly flat lawn, which many people think you do need to have in order to use a cylinder mower. Here's another example where I've got probably half inch or so gaps sitting in the lawn. Yes, in terms of your ground conditions, I would say the electric mower is going to be more forgiving, but you can get away with some slight undulations in your lawn and still have a great result using the cylinder mower. Take a look at this bit here. This is a bit that actually waterlogs a bit or stays moist. One of the downsides of having such a heavy mower is it can smear or compress parts of your lawn which can cause compaction especially if it's getting wet. You do want to pay special attention to the ground conditions when you're using that type of cylinder mower. Whereas this lightweight battery mower is a bit more forgiving in terms of your ground conditions. 
The next thing I want to talk to you about is stripes. I'm not going to do a full comparison of the stripes in this video. I will link to that in the card above where I'll do a full in-depth review of the different stripes between the two machines. But here you can see the Bosch cutting the lawn and to be fair throwing out some alright stripes. You can see some browning at this lower height of cut from the Bosch. It just doesn't cut as well as the L it does at the lower heights. And you'll see from my next video, which was shot a couple of weeks ago, this is where the Alit really comes into its own. And you can see when you talk about stripes and quality of cut, the Alit really comes into its own. I would just not get this quality of cut and high definition stripe with any other type of mower. It lays the grass down really well, throws out great pronounced stripes, and you can also get like a nice edging pass going around the lawn. You can really tell this is a great quality machine and it makes your lawn stand out, especially if you're coupling it with a good care regime and fertiliser and you've got healthy grass. This thing is going to paint the stripes on like crazy. One of the things I have noticed about the Alit is the position of the grass box. I haven't necessarily found it a problem other than I've just had to slightly change the way that I mow and make sure the obstacles around the lawn are clear. You can see here the front grass box actually hits my sleeper bed and I get this kind of little edge along where it just misses. I'm just going to have to take the edge in a couple of centimetres and it's something to think about that be aware of the obstacles in your lawn. Here's another example of the front of the machine. It just kind of hits this uh, planter. It's not a major issue. I can move the planter back or just do an edging pass to clean things up. The last thing that I want to talk about is which machine cuts better on the edges. This Bosch even has a special feature where the front wheels are a little bit narrower to the cutting deck, but even still, it can be a bit of an art to get right along the edge and make sure that you get a clean cut along the edge. Also, a small mistake, and the machine can drop down, and it's quite unstable, it can rock, and it's quite easy to scalp your lawn in this way. If we take a look at the Alit, it sits right the way across the front and the rear roller. That increases its stability across that front face and also the extra weight helps it feel a little bit more stable on the edges. You can actually get away with rolling this right across the edge of the lawn and it still stays relatively stable and easy to control. This is going to allow you to get a nice clean edging pass right the way across with no issues at all. I have to say since I've bought the Alit I've been really impressed with the quality of cut and the high level of stripes that I've seen. I don't believe that I would have got the same results using the Bosch and for that reason, as I'm a keen lawn enthusiast, I have to say the Alit machine is a great bit of kit, it's well engineered and it gives absolutely fantastic results. To balance that, for the last three years I've created a lawn care channel solely using the Bosch lawn mower. With the right care, you can achieve a good result using those type of mowers as well, but you're not going to get the really low cut with high defined stripes. You're probably going to need to maintain your lawn at a taller setting. If you like this video, please drop me a comment in the comment section below on which one your favourite mower is, and why not check out some of my other videos. Until then, I'll see you in the lawn.